can I get you folks? Shane! Hi! My son! Hi! Why aren't you in school? Ask Grandma. Because this is lunch hour, and I thought maybe he needed a break from mystery meat and hydrogenated chicken tenders. Okay, well, I, I, I packed him lunch this morning. Yeah, I know that, but this is more of a treat. And Rex told me that I was supposed to tell you, but I kind of sort of forgot. Are you mad at me? No. I think it's great that Shane has a grandma who can give him a treat out of the blue. Don't think you have the rest of the day off. Hey, listen. I heard Rex has this big gig, but it's kind of hush-hush. TQ. Yeah. So, uh, give me a little hint. Come on, throw me a bone. It has to do with the rich getting richer, but I can't name names. He's working for the Buchanan's? So, just fine, David. Son, what's the matter with you? What's happening? Where is he? He's <clears throat> on a plane. What? With Dorian. They're headed for Vegas. Are you sure that Dorian and David are going to Vegas? Positive. This Swedish guy working at Dorian's house told me. There's a Swedish guy? I didn't ask. But I called my guy at the airport. You have a guy at the airport? He's a baggage handler, but he's got good eyes. He saw a couple who matches their description. Well, how do you know it was them? He saw a man and a woman dressed in big orange sheets. His words, not mine. All right. Give me the airline, the flight number. <laughs> what are you going to do, Clint? Stop the plane? Uh, if he'll keep Dorian from marrying into family money? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, this is Clint Buchanan. Uh, your flight number, 362. Well, 362 has to stay right where it is. Keep... Hold on a minute. Dorian on my cell. Uh, could you hold on for just a minute? I'm talking to the authorities. Yeah, hold on. Dorian. Surprised to hear from me? Where are you? Wouldn't you like to know? You could use a little Nirvana yourself. By the way, I thought you might like to know. I've fallen in love again. Is that right? And considering how close we once were, I thought you'd be happy to know that I finally found someone who can give me everything I've ever wanted. Who's the lucky fella? You know, it's funny. He reminds me just a little bit of you. Yes, it, it is constantly surprising to me how much like you he is. You think you've won, haven't you? I know I've won. Enjoy what you've got while you've still got it. That witch is playing with me. She knows I'm on to her. Dorian's on her way to Las Vegas. She's really going to marry David Vickers. She's waving it under my nose, Jared. She's daring me to come after her. If I just got into Dorian's house like a half an hour earlier, I would have been able to stop them. Maybe you still can. Why, well, they're... I'm already on the plane. They, they boarded. It's probably taken off. If I could use the BE jet... No, I that's could... already being used to look for Beaver Calhoun, but I could put you on a commercial airline. Well, they got a huge head start. Not up to the task? I'm not saying that. That's good, because I'm betting $100,000 that you can deliver. Do you mind clarifying that? If you can prevent Dorian from marrying David using any method you have to, I'll give you $100,000 in cash. Do we have a deal? Did I say anything about the Buchanans? You don't have to. What other rich people would he be working for? In this town, uh, take your pick. Uh-huh. It's them. <sighs> Roxy, this is totally confidential. I never should have opened my big mouth. Don't worry. I'm confident. If it's such a big secret, how come you know, Mom? Yeah, how come? Because Rex tells me everything. I'm his. Oh, you were you gonna say his wife? Does it kind of feel like you are, right? Can we not talk about this, please? It's okay. I want to know too. When are you and Dad getting married? <laughs>